guys, welcome to another vlog. I am on my way to the ER right now because I am shadowing my preceptor, which is like a program that my school set up with the hospital right here so that throughout MS1 and MS2 year we get to shadow a certain preceptor and mine just happened to be an ER doctor. So I'm on my way. Uh, today my assignment is to do a physical exam and take a history on just any patient he gives me. So hopefully this is fun. Oh, and if you can't tell, this is like a hurricane. These clouds are part of a hurricane, Har Harvey or Harley, that's hit Texas. And we're getting like the mild part of it in my area. But yeah, I heard it's pretty horrible in other parts of Texas. So yeah, really windy, really rainy. I'm here with Catherine, oh and she is a fan of mine. <laughs> uh, we Hi. accidentally met just now. Yeah, because I'm a scribe. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back at home. I got a big heaping pile of stew going on there because you know I love to stress eat a lot. So I'm making a huge pot as you can see. And I got my beefless ground beef there ready to go. And right now I'm about to learn. So these papers contain different sections of the brain stem and I have to know like all the tracks in each of these slices. A lot of slices to know. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are tracks of nerves that go from skin and your muscles through your spinal cord and up through your brain. And they kind of go in bundles called tracks. And they all have their own names. And every time you cut like a slice this way on your brainstem, you can localize where those tracks are. And there's a lot. So close up, you may not know what I'm looking at. Perhaps a very, very crude drawing of a flower. But in fact, this is the medulla. And um, these are, for example, this spot that vaguely looks like a circle is the spinal tract and nucleus of cranial nerve 5. And this is the spinothalamic tract. These are the pyramids of the medulla, so you know you're in the medulla. And then this white thing is the central gray. Um, I don't even know what that is. I don't really know what I'm looking at right now because I haven't studied any of this. I've kind of been putting all of this off, so I gotta learn it now. All right, it's just me and slides and colored pencils for the rest of the night. But of course I need my coffee, especially in my pushy mug. So for my coffee, I just use a H-E-B Classic Roast Cinnamon Dulce Flavored Syrup. And then I use vanilla soy milk from H-E-B to fill it up the rest of the way. And voila, you have coffee. Ah, bring it on, steady week. I can see my soup is going on, and if you see some specks of black, that's because I burned some of the noodles. Like I said, I cannot cook. <laughs> Update on Calyx, ripping apart the new toy I got him. Yeah, because I put catnip in it, which isn't a good idea. I just had to super glue it together, and he's gonna rip it apart again. Mmm, food, America's favorite thing. Mmm, coffee, America's second favorite thing. Mmm, ah, ah, no, get out of here. These drawings are taking for freaking ever. Doesn't that look like two zebras kissing? But it actually it's just the ponds. Color coding these Mylan same slides took me six hours. Let's just pray that was a good use of time. Okay, now that that's over with, time to actually start reviewing handouts like I do. Got my markers, got my whiteboard, got my Diet Coke. Actually, this is Diet Pepsi and a bendy straw. But yes. When you stay here so long that it's dinner time and it suddenly is surrounded by people and parents fighting with their children. It's all pretty loud. Hold the phone guys. Oh my gosh. Pushing. Cat stuff. So today I went to Denny's, but I didn't bring my phone because I wanted to leave YouTube on for my cat to enjoy while I was gone. And right now I'm just still learning. I've only done one week out of eight, but I'm done with the week so I can now move on to week two. Our test is actually on Thursday, so I don't get a Thursday to continue studying. Good news is on Friday I'll have nothing to do, which will be a big celebration. Alrighty, just got to Denny's. And it's my last day 
I got a lot to do, a few, several weeks left. But the good thing is I know most of it, I just have to review it, honestly. Ugh. So let's go do that. It's so hot right now. By the way, this is a hurricane in my area. However, that being said, my family is from Houston, lives in Houston, and the flood is maybe inches away from hitting the front of their door. So if there ever was a reason to work really hard to be a great doctor, you know, it's for crises, crises like this, so I can help. Whoa, build your own burger, and they added a veggie patty. Take my money. Our neuro module was made out of eight weeks of material. This was the midterm that I already took, and the final is the whole eight weeks. And so far, I have done, I'm done reviewing week five, and that's it. The good news is I'm almost done with week six. The also other good news is I know all of this. I'm just reviewing it. A lot of you people think I'm learning all of this in one day and I'm not. I'm not really not that impressive. But yes, I need to review it, obviously. Oh my god, I had to demolish that. Okay, 5 p.m. and done with week six. Okay, finally done with week week seven and it is one wow it took me so much longer than i thought it would week eight i just did so it should not take long and then whatever little bit of time i have will be spent reading this entire thing okay guys so i have finally reached a conclusion there is no way i'm going to finish that book by 7.30 and I haven't even finished week 8 yet so I am going to do something different. When I study I like to read everything. Everything that they gave us, every powerpoint, every handout they gave us I want to know and have read for the test. But a lot of these modules have final reviews where they tell you pretty much what's going to be on the exam. And people make a Google Doc with all the final review questions and fill them out. And usually these reviews are like 55 pages long. I don't like to use those because I feel like if you just learn the answers to questions, you're not getting the whole gist of the neurology modules. You're just memorizing facts about stuff. So usually I don't use these reviews. Also. I mean, if you know the review, I feel like the best you can get is maybe like a 90. But I like to, I like, I'm crazy. I like to aim really, really high. Like a 90 is not gonna cut it for me. So I, I like to really, really know everything. And yes, I have a lot of fun at parties. <laughs> so I guess now for that book I had to know, I'm just gonna look at what's on the review sheet for that. So I have six hours to read this review, which is really, really long. I think it's like 70 pages. So, yay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, and you guys need to know this. The med school is cool and all, but I'm not gonna lie, study weeks before midterms and before final exams are like torture. They're miserable. You hate it. It's, it strains your eyes. It makes you old, stressed. Like, med school is good and all most of the time, but right now these are the days where I'm tired. I'm stressed. I can't play with my cat. So he's been miserable this whole time. I'm in this shirt I've been wearing almost 24 hours now. And it's just, this is, this is what it is. This is what it takes to have a white coat. This is what it takes to work at a hospital. And like, it's just sacrifice. People just don't know the sacrifice that doctors and med students and the whole way to medicine, all the sacrifices you have to take to get there. I'm probably a year older on my face. My social life is nothing. <laughs> I hardly get to see my family. I just, it's, it's really hard and there's so many sacrifices and, you know, it's hard. It's really, really hard. But honestly, like what, what else, what else would I do? Would I just work a desk job? Would I just chill at home while my boyfriend works? I would rather be stressed 
and doing, going somewhere in my life, doing something with my life, then not stressed and just staying stationary in life and not doing anything fun, not doing anything cool. Like, this is all going to pay off, and it's fun most of the time, just not finals week. And it's something you guys need to know if you're considering med school. This stuff is hard sometimes and really stressful. But enough of that, I really gotta start studying. Ooh, all right, officially done. And it is 6.55 a.m. I'm taking a 10 minute nap and no one's gonna stop me. Bye, Calyx. Just know that when I come back, it's party time. I actually sleep then party, but no time for logistics. behind me it's a whole bunch of students talking about the test something I have no interest in by the way it's Labor Day weekend and that means we're free Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday Woo! so the plan is food coma and then sleep till the end of time won't be needing these anymore they'll be going in the pile Ugh. so the whole class is at this bar and it's got outdoor views it's really cool. So we're all celebrating the end of Neuro and also it's some a student's birthday. We all like to celebrate birthdays together. But yes guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!